In Consumer Corner, we take a look at trends creating a buzz online in China. On today's show, we'll discuss profits made in smartphone repair shops. With more than 415 million smartphone owners in 2013, China is keeping its position as the nation with the largest overall number of smartphone owners. With the ownership and popularity of smartphones increasing, the after-sales services, such as repairs, are a cause for complaints. Samsung occupies the largest market share in China. It has also become the biggest source of complaints regarding the service. As revealed by China Newsweek, Samsung's official repair shops are charging much more than most other electronic repair shops. For instance, a charger with a USB connector can be easily broken. Replacing it can also be one of the most common repair requests. In the official repair shops of Samsung, the phone users need to pay 240 yuan, or nearly 40 US dollars for a new charger. However, if searching for the same electronic component on one of China's online shopping websites, the price ranges from about 25 cents to 10 US dollars. This is several times cheaper than the official repair shops. The profit margins are a point of discussion online. Some net users disagreed with this comparison. One wrote, quote, In the repair industry, you can buy the products at a cheap price easily. At the same price, you can't buy the technique needed to make a repair. They are technical workers with skills. You need to pay for their skills. However, when compared with the costs at unofficial stores with similar technical staff, the price margin is much higher. China's state-owned TV network, CCTV, did an investigation on this market. To repair a crack in the phone screen, most shops choose to replace it with a new screen. According to the official price points for Samsung, replacing a new screen costs the consumer around 1,600 to 1,800 yuan, around 260 to 290 US dollars. However, in unofficial repair shops, the same service price is much lower. The price ranges from around 60 to 160 US dollars. However, some net users defended Samsung, quote, Do you know how much these official repair shops pay for rent? Those unofficial repair shops do not need a storefront as big and gorgeous as the authorized Samsung stores. The basic costs are much lower. As well, these foreign brands also need a good relationship with the Chinese government. This is costly. According to China Newsweek, the repair services at an official Samsung store might also involve over-repair. Usually, the screens of most smartphones are made up of two parts. There is the outside vitreous protector and the inside LCD touchscreen. Most crackdowns are usually happening to the outside protector. So most unofficial stores choose to replace it with the new protection screen, which is enough for most models. However, in the Samsung repair stores, the staff claim that they can only replace the entire screen, including the undamaged parts. They bundle the different components into a package, which raises the cost for customers. Because of the high charging standard in the official repair stores, Many users turn to unauthorized stores for help. However, the unofficial repair services may lead to the problems with the warranties. Samsung promises their customers a one-year warranty period. However, if the repairs are not done by an official staff, or if the components are not provided by the authorized manufacturers, the promised one-year warranty becomes invalid. Additionally, as CCTV reported, most components in China from Samsung are made in factories in China's Guangdong province. The factory price of the Samsung screen is 8 yuan, or around $1.30 US. After adding the shipping cost, the total cost of a screen is less than $2. This means that the profit margins for repairs at official Samsung stores could reach hundreds of times more than their cost. However, the report from CCTV was found to be suspect by some net users. One net user wrote, quote, Earlier this year, the iPhone was blamed for having different service standards for Chinese users. After Apple apologized, the Chinese authorities turned to Samsung. Are they trying to kick out all the foreign brands? Do you think it can really help the domestic phone market? I don't think so. Samsung has found that there is a market in having their own phones repaired. The cost of repairs are expensive when compared to the incredibly cheap costs of off-brand technicians. These off-brand stores aren't being held liable for the quality or safety of their work, which means they can get away with things that official stores can't. There has been a flurry of Chinese media reports harping on price disparities for foreign goods in China. There have been stories targeting luxury goods, Starbucks, and Apple. So it's rational to assume that this is just another push from a state-owned source.